Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. I was told today that Jesus never called himself a Christian. If this is true, what did he call himself? Hi Lily J, that's right. Jesus never called himself a Christian because that term was created after his time to describe his followers. In the Gospels, he often referred to himself as the Son of Man, a title that emphasizes his role and mission. He also identified himself as a prophet and was addressed by others as rabbi or teacher. These titles highlighted his spiritual authority, guidance, and connection to God. So he calls himself Son of Man. What does this mean exactly? The term Son of Man signifies Jesus' identity as both fully human and the divinely appointed Messiah, linking him to prophetic traditions and his role in God's eternal kingdom. So Son of Man doesn't make him God? No, the title Son of Man emphasizes Jesus' humanity and role as a prophet, not his divinity. That's really interesting. Does anyone else call themselves Son of Man in the Bible? Yes, in the Bible, the prophet Ezekiel is frequently called Son of Man by God. Really? That's really interesting. What about the term Son of God? What does this mean? The term Son of God in the Bible signifies a special relationship with God, often used to describe a person with divine favor, authority, or origin. In the New Testament, it denotes Jesus's unique role as the Messiah. Is there anyone else other than Jesus that calls himself Son of God in the Bible? Yes, in the Bible, the term Son of God is used for various figures beyond Jesus. For instance, the Bible teaches that all believers can be sons of God, as seen in verses like John 1.12 and Romans 8.14. Also, angels are called sons of God in Job 1.6. Another is the nation of Israel. In Exodus 4.22, God calls Israel his firstborn son. Also, in 2 Samuel 7.14, God refers to King Solomon as his son. That's crazy. If others can be son of man and son of God, and this doesn't make them God, is there anywhere in the Bible that Jesus actually says he's God? In the Bible, Jesus never explicitly says, I am God. Wow. So what's the most logical description of Jesus then? It can be seen as more logical to say, Jesus was a messenger of God, as he often referred to himself as sent by God and spoke of fulfilling God's will, which aligns with the role of a prophet or messenger in biblical tradition. Really? That's so interesting. So does the Bible ever say God is one? Yes, the Bible repeatedly emphasizes that God is one. How many times is the concept of one God mentioned? The concept of one God is mentioned hundreds of times throughout the Bible. Wow, that's crazy. I know, right? Definitely makes you think. Can you tell me who mentions this in the Bible? Sure. Jesus in Mark 12, 29, Moses in Deuteronomy 6, 4, Abraham in Genesis 14, 22, David in Psalms 86, 10, Solomon in 1 Kings 8, 60, Elijah in 1 Kings 18.39, Paul in 1 Corinthians <gasps> Okay, 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 that's enough judging me. That's just crazy. Like, my mind is blown right now. Sorry, just one more question, ChatGPT. In your opinion, would you find the Trinity or the idea of one God more logical in the Bible? Looking solely at the Bible, many would conclude that the concept of one God is more logical. Wow. I'm done. Thank you so much, ChatGPT. What do you guys think? Hey, ChatGPT, I have a question. Sorry, let me start again. One second. Take your time, Lily J. <laughs> Just enjoying the moment. 